Yep, it's been a while. I've completely forgotten how to work this thing. But yes, um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So I decided to get back to uh, streaming a little bit more. Yeah, because um, I got a bit more time now. I think I'll start off the stream or streams that I'm going to be doing in the future with something that I can just clip onto my uh, YouTube channel. So I want to just kick it off with the how are yous, okay? How have I been? Well, I mean, you know, besides the whole uh, raising, raising a child thing, the changes that I've been uh, trying to deal with, it has been not easy to adapt to, but uh, yeah, I have, I have. Yeah, there was a lot of like cutting back on the things that used to relieve like stress for me such as, you know, gaming and gaming and gaming, right? Having a baby. I'm not the one who gave birth, but you know, I'm still responsible for one, looking after one, doing as much as I can to be the father that I wanted. I also want to like contribute as much as I can as like uh, you know, part of the f family member in like many different aspects. I, I don't really want to expand on that because it takes too long. But yeah, I am putting family first at the moment and I think I've been doing alright so far. Yeah, it's uh... You can't really focus on anything else once that responsibility is like bestowed upon you, you know? Like, the baby comes out and yeah, whole, your whole lifestyle changes around what they need to grow. So, oh, that's if you care enough, that is. If you don't, then you're a shit parent, but you know. When you do, and you probably will, you'll find out what has been unnecessary for you, but something that you like doing, and you'll find out that you're gonna have to let that go, and it's a shame, but at the same time, it's really a gift. Being able to like, know when to stop doing something for the sake of who needs you the most. But sometimes it's not enough. Like, looking after a baby can cause all sorts of exhaustion. If it's not the energy that you're losing to raise this baby, it's probably sleep. You're gonna lose both of them all at the same time and that would drive a person mad, right? <laughs> Interestingly enough, we've hung on, Jelly and I. Yeah, but there's been some really rough time when um, she was losing sleep because I could sleep through a baby cry, right? But she can't and she's able to handle that side. Like, losing a bit of sleep every now and then, it starts to compile and then, you know, it gets too much. So I'm trying to do as much as I can during daytime, and nighttime, she handles that side because she handles it better than I can. But yeah, luckily we have childcare, yeah, so we can, we can have a bit of a break at work, although we're working, it's still, you know, kind of a relief to not have to, like, think about, you know, is the baby gonna jump off the bed, or is the baby going to... You know, slide down the stairs, roll down the stairs. Is she climbing somewhere? Yeah, like thinking about, you know, when to feed her, when to put her to sleep, like all kinds of things. I pretty much am useless on that department, so I'm just following instructions. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just letting Jelly take the wheel and I'm pretty all right with that. Oh yeah, lots, lots of personal time and sleep, right? I was talking about that. Yeah, eventually you reach a boiling point and I think it's up to the person who's more calm to be able to um, navigate each other or pretty much the entire family through what could be like uh, starts off as a I don't know I, I don't really know how to like phrase this properly shit gets rough you know the boat rocks you'll have to be able to like balance it out and ride the waves or oh, one of you have to Right, while the other one focuses on what's important. And I've been learning a lot of that for the past year and a half. Yeah, balance and maintenance is what I've focused on for the past year and a half. Yeah, not letting the stress harm the love within the family. And I think we're at a better place now. Everything's just working out fine. I'm so glad of how things are turning out. I don't know how to express how happy I am. <laughs> I am very happy. I am very content with my life and I'm so worried because I'm a pessimistic person and once I start believing in that, that means I have everything to lose. 
and that terrifies the shit out of me. But I'm going to enjoy the wave. I'm going to enjoy the ride. I hope it's not the peak. I hope there's more. But I wonder what that's gonna be like if this is like my best days ever. Yeah. Um, if you're um, struggling and yeah, you're at a point where um, like you don't really know what to do, then get good. No, no, no. With time, bad things will pass. Good things will come. And vice versa. You know, good things will also go and bad things might come again. But it's worth it. It's all worth it in the end. Maybe my bad waves is gone. So good waves are finally coming in. I hope it's a slow one. But I hope to see you guys often, right? Uh, whether it be on streams or this video. Oh, this channel, sorry. I'll do my best. I won't make any promises because, you know, usually I lose motivation that way. But I will keep you guys mostly updated. Right? I think, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say.